Okay, I was asked to do a walk around of the bale. Um, it's 4BT Cummins. It was a Deutz machine originally. Uh, I bought it already converted to a Cummins. Bought it from a guy in Kentucky. He did a good job converting it over. That is the exhaust. And the Deutz exhaust originally came out right here. Um, yeah, that's the other side. And of course, you've got two hydraulic coolers and a radiator in there. Um, we run a larger saw motor that we get from Randy at the logger shop. And three quarter bar set up. Um, there's your rotator. And this is what you call the skid link. The cylinder in here that, that uh, get pivots your head in and out. Gives you a little more leverage and a little more height in some situations. Um, I'll, the reason I said that, I'll show you on this joystick in here so I can explain it. That normally runs in a detent free spool position. So when you grab a tree, it, it doesn't hold your head out away from it. But when you're topping or moving trees, you use that skid link a lot. So, that being said, this right joystick here, these, this runs your skid link in and out, or the other way around. And then this will lock the detent to where um, it, it stays out wherever you have it. And you use it, like I said, a lot when you're topping wood or picking up trees, whatever, pulling them around. So, skid link in and out, and grapple rotate. Just like a knuckle boom. And this is your main boom, only boom, up and down. Grapple close and open. And then this is your saw, and that's to raise your head. And then your pedals, are hydrostatic. So you push both of them forward, you go forward. You push one, the left side forward, you're gonna go to the right. And the right side forward, you're gonna go to the left. Just about like a zero turn mower. Your transmissions or hydrostat pumps, there's two of them, one for each side, are under the seat here. You take this panel off and you can take the seat out and get right to it. Got two of those and then on the front of those they're stacked together. And on the front of that is your main hydraulic pump. And then your drive motors are in these covers here. Take those off and get to your drive motors. And they've got a brake housing and a gear reduction in there as well. But uh, pretty simple machines to work on. Extremely efficient. Um, and these hills, this track machine is, and that that's my rubber tire machine in the flat ground. That thing is hard to beat. So maybe that'll help some people understand a little bit more about them. There's a learning curve to them, but I don't think it's any, I think any kind of a bar saw machine has a major learning curve. So I think if you learn one, you can, you can just about run them all 